Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to be trying the Farm Rich Flame Broiled Meatballs. Uh, this one is the meatballs with pizza sauce seasoning. This one's with cheeseburger seasoning. And this one is maple bacon meatballs. So uh, we bought these at Kroger. They were $7.99. I'm just going to try um, a couple from each flavor just to see what they taste like. So I'm going to go through them one at a time. And $7.99, that's not too bad. You get a pretty good sized bag. Um, they're all um, 20 ounces or one pound, four ounce bags. That's that's how big they are. They're, I think they're, yeah, they're all the same size. So this one is the meatballs with pizza flavoring. Let me turn you down a little bit. And it is um, six meatballs are 290 calories. And there's your info for you. And you can do this a bunch of different ways. You can do a conventional oven if you want to. You can do the microwave, which is what we're going to do. You can do it on the stove top if you'd like. And you can do it in a slow cooker. Just throw it in there and let them heat up. Um, what does it take? Three to four hours in the slow cooker. That's why it's a slow cooker. Um, so in the microwave, it says arrange the product on a single layer on a microwave safe plate. Microwave six meatballs on high for one minute and 30 seconds, which works good for me. I got three bags. I can do like two per... Um, per um, a plate you know do six total um two flavors or two meatballs per flavor that's what i meant to say and i think they're all well maybe they're not all the same calories anyway i'll get two of those out in just a second the cheeseburger one again the same um weight it is also 290 calories for six meatballs and there's the other info for you and the same directions so we can do the six meatballs for a minute and a half and then the last one is the maple bacon one and it's 250 calories for six meatballs and there's your info for you and again the same information so i've got a plate so i'm going to put them in let me turn you down a little bit let me get a pair of scissors and i'm going to go let's start with the maple bacon ones first cut them all the way across they're not resealable bags so once you open them you have to uh um, tape them or put them in a Ziploc bag or something like that. So that's what size they are. They're pretty small. Um, I may do, i tell you what, I'm going to do, I'm going to do three, I'm going to do four. I'm going to do four of those. That way I've got enough to actually try. So there's four of those. And then um, I'll do two sets of, of microwaving them. So there's four of those. This is what the cheeseburger ones look like. So I'll do two of those. And then when I get when I do it again, I'll do a second uh, microwaving. I'll do uh, one more of those and three of the pizza ones. And let me just show you what they look like. They have a little bit more of a, a reddish tint to them. So I'm going to get these in the microwave. And then once they come out, I'll get, I'll put them on a paper plate probably. And then put more of the other ones on there just so I have enough to actually try them out because they're pretty small. And uh, anyway, I'll be back when they come out. I'll show you the final result. Okay, so here they are out of the microwave. So they just got hot, basically. So these are the maple bacon ones. These are the cheeseburger ones. And these are the pizza ones. So I'm going to take these over the table and uh, give them a try. All right, so I'm going to try the cheeseburger ones first. And it really doesn't have much of a description on it, um, like at all. It just says it's made with uh, beef and pork um, with cheeseburger-style seasonings. And it really doesn't have anything. I like the picture on the front. It has them on little, like, buns, like little rolls. So I'm just going to pick them up and eat them. Hmm. Like a little bitty piece of bone or a little gristle. No, it's a piece of bone. Um, not bad. It really just tastes like you're a hamburger more than anything. I don't really get any cheese. Um, it, it tastes like a a grilled hamburger. So if you go take a hamburger and just a patty out ground beef, put it on the grill, kind of has that same flavor. You can even do it in a pan and, and sear it a little bit. It kind of has that same flavor. Just it literally just tastes like ground beef. It doesn't have any cheeseburger flavor at all. Um, I was expecting it to have a little bit more of a, I don't know, put some pickle in there or ketchup and mustard kind of flavor, you know, cheeseburger kind of flavor or some cheese in there. I don't get any of that. It's just ground beef. So it's good. It's just, just no, it's just beef. 
Um, I'm gonna try the maple bacon ones next. Here's what they look like inside. Definitely a different flavor for that one. I guess it's the maple adding that little bit of a, like a, almost, it's not sweet, but it seems almost sweet. Almost like a syrup, but not quite. Mm. And it really doesn't taste like bacon at all. You would think bacon would add some smokiness to it, uh, but it does not. The, uh, the maple bacon says it is pork meatballs with maple syrup, so um, that's where the syrup flavor is coming from, and bacon. I don't get I don't, I don't get bacon at all, at least in the one I ate. Um, you would think you would get some of the bacon flavor out of there, though. And it's funny too. I, I knew the different the texture was a little bit different, but you could also tell that these were not beef uh, meatballs like the cheeseburger ones. You 100% knew those were ground beef. That's what they tasted like. The maple bacon ones do not taste like that at all. Um, I'm surprised they don't taste more like a bacon flavor though, or have more of a maple syrup flavor. They're just kind of, yeah, I mean, they're okay. They're, they have a slight smokiness and a slight sauce flavor, but not a lot, not enough to really um, say they're maple bacon, you know what I mean? And the pizza ones, the pizza ones are made with beef and pork. So they're, they're kind of like just like the cheeseburger ones with pizza style seasonings. So these smelled the strongest when I was cooking them. And it's also a, a softer texture than, than the uh, pork ones from the maple bacon ones are. It has a definite pizza style um, seasoning to it. So if you ever have uh, pizza sauce and it's got the spices in it, like oregano and basil or whatever else they put in there, you taste those spices in that meatball. So it doesn't taste like tomato sauce, but it does have a pizza like flavor. I can see those being really good if you did uh, cook them in a skillet, brown them up really good and heat, get them hot, and then put some like marinara sauce in there to give you a little bit more of that tomato-y kind of flavor. Um, I could see that going really, really well with, with, um, with a marinara sauce or, or even a spaghetti sauce. Yeah, those are really good. I like the seasoning in that. Um, Overall, the texture of these are pretty decent. The um, the maple bacon ones were a little dry because they're pork, and the pork, there's not a lot of fat in them, so the pork was really kind of dry. Compared to the other two, they're not really dry, period. They're just drier compared to the other two. Um, I was actually surprised that the cheeseburger ones are a little dry as well. Not as bad as the maple bacon, but just slightly drier. And the pizza, pizza ones seem to be the moistest of the bunch. Um, they're much softer and squishier. So, um, so texture-wise, they're okay. Just know that the pork ones, the, the maple bacon ones, are a little bit uh, drier than the other two. I think if you did these in a, the microwave is just heating them up. They're already cooked. They're just, it's just getting heated up in the microwave. If you were to do this in the, I think the skillet would be the best method for me. I would rather do them in the skillet. Put them in a skillet. Let them like brown up and get a little crispy on the outside and then put whatever sauce you're gonna put in them. Um, that would be really, really good. As far as um, suggestions, as far as flavors go, I said what the pizza would be good with, some kind of marinara sauce. The cheeseburger one would be really good with like a, a Swiss meatball, like a, a white sauce of some kind. It would be really good with that. I'm not sure the maple bacon, really, There's it's it doesn't taste like much of anything. So I guess you could just throw those in kind of anything. Uh, or you can eat them by themselves. They're perfectly fine by themselves. I would give, I'm gonna kind of give them a different number. The um, the maple bacon, uh, I would give a three. You really don't get the maple or the bacon really. So I'm gonna give that one kind of a middle of the road. It's, it's a good meatball, it's just not flavorful. Um, the ground beef, I would probably give a three and a half. And then the pizza ones, I'd probably give a four. So they're just slightly better than the other one. Um, but none of them are gonna blow you away. None of them are the best things ever. They are kind of small, which is could be a good thing, could be a bad thing. They are kind of small. But uh, the pizza ones by far have the most flavor and are the best ones to try. So if you're interested in these, $8, you get a bunch. I mean, there's a, 
There's a bag full of meatballs in there. So you can put that whole, just dump the whole bag in a skillet um, or a baking sheet or bake them or whatever and uh, mix them up with stuff. And, and I think you'd really, really enjoy them, um, especially the pizza ones and the cheeseburger ones. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.